everybody. I've never started the video while sitting on the floor before, but I am here with a beautiful peace lily that has had a rough existence since it came into our house. So I had repotted it in a pot that was way too small. So it is now in a pot that it fits better in but I haven't been home to water it in a couple of weeks. So I thought I would give it a quick trim. It lives here in the dining room because it's a little bit, um, with the curtains closed, a little bit darker. And uh, it likes a little bit of darkness. It is a peace lily and it has those beautiful white um, flowers, I guess, that come on it, but it's also known as a closet plant so I always take that to mean it doesn't really care for a lot of light so I thought I would just trim out some of the dead parts and make it start looking a bit more alive I do still have it tied so that nothing flops over we had had it outside during the wind and it kind of a little floppy and Archie is in the room. Usually these will just pull out but sometimes they don't want to. And anyway today I wanted to share with you there is Archie with his tail wagging and I wanted to share with you some new pieces that I got from H&M in the home department. So they have a lot of really cool uh, tableware right now, or at least I feel it's cool. It's not as expensive as if you went to Williams-Sonoma or some of those places, which to me, I think is good for this time of year. There's a linen tablecloth that I'm gonna show you that all you have to do is wash it and dry it and put it back on the table. There is no ironing required. It To me, it looks better without ironing. So I wanted to show you that. And then the other great thing about it is these are pieces that I like to put out when we are dining outside. So it's the kind of stuff you really just don't have to worry about but it's also nice enough that if you have company over, you're not gonna feel embarrassed to have an H&M tablecloth on the table. So I'm gonna show that to you. And uh, there are lots of pieces still available. So hopefully you'll be able to get the colors and sizes that you want. Um, they have some linen, they have some cotton, and I've ordered some of the cotton. I think I know where that is, so I'll show that to you as well. But I think that is it for the plan. I feel like the rest of this will liven up now that I'm home and have watered it. So there you go. I don't like, I don't like plants that look sad and this bless its heart looks sad which is not its fault it's totally mine but anyway if you are new here thank you so much for joining me and Archie and if you would please subscribe and hopefully you will enjoy the video and will give me a thumbs up and when you subscribe, if you don't mind also hitting the bell icon, that way when you log in, you will see, uh-oh, sometimes if you touch Archie's neck just the wrong way, even in a gentle way, it makes him cough. So, um, let me get you up on the tripod and let me show you some of my cool finds at H&M Home. Let's say hi to everybody. Show them how pretty you are. Oh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Ah, I'm getting Archie bites. I got your booty. I got your booty. Okay. Stop it, little biter. All 
Alrighty, so this is my dining room and it kind of has some gray green in it and obviously yellow. There's a bit of red and gold. So the curtains are a pale yellow that kind of match the wall. You can see that the light has some gold kind of crystals on them. So it can really be a blank slate. This is, I believe it was called light khaki, light khaki tablecloth. It is one of the washed linen and they had some really good sales on them. Uh, I think everything was 20% off during Memorial Day, but they always have great sales. So even if you miss that, then you can look for a, another sale. But as you can see, I washed it and I didn't even iron it and I don't mind the look. That kind of seems to be a stylish look these days. And the chairs have some sagey green on them. The end chairs were my mom's and the seats are kind of a sagey green so it's, it works uh, well together. And on the table, I keep looking behind me because I don't want to step on Archie who is in the middle of the floorway. But I just have an old uh, kind of trough sort of thing with some wax uh, pears and uh, Bodark apples and pineapple, or pineapples, pine cones, which I probably need to take out, but I do like the color contrast in there. And then some old brass candlesticks and kind of some old gold candles. And also wanted to show you some of the other things I got. So my two favorite colors of these tablecloths are the light khaki, I believe it is. It may just be khaki. And then the other color, which I have here in napkins, is called light beige. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. Let's see if the tag says. Nope. Yep. But they are pure linen. And here you can see the khaki color versus the beige, beige color. And to me, they kind of work well together. I also got the tablecloth in light beige. And I got it in a smaller size because I thought it looked really nice outside, but it'll also work inside as well. So originally, they did not have the linen. <laughs> Archie's gone now, checking. He's got to do a security detail. They did not have the linen napkins. So they did have linen blend tea towels. Tea cloths? Kitchen cloths? Kitchen towels. Kitchen towels. <laughs> So I did go ahead and get enough of those to serve as napkins. And I thought then when they offered the matching napkins in the linen, I thought, well, I'll just send these back. But actually, I think these would be good for your bread bowl when you take bread to the table. I always hate to use one of my nice napkins because oil and grease from homemade bread or store-bought bread gets on the napkin and is, for me, impossible to get out. Maybe you have a secret you'd be happy to share. But I thought if I kept the tea towels, then that would be, I would find uses for them. The other thing is they are not a square. And I thought, well, these would actually make nice placemats or sometimes how you will see If I didn't have anything on my table, sometimes you'll see the, um, like a runner instead of a full tablecloth. So I think I will find some use for them. Now the fabric has an interesting texture to it and I'm not sure, it feels like to me, which hopefully I will be wrong, but it feels like it would pick kind of easily. So I don't know that I would actually use it as a dishcloth because I would probably ruin them straight out of the gate. So on these napkins, 
They are, I think they were 18 by 18, which isn't bad. I mean, it's not, definitely there are bigger, but as I said, you don't have to wash them. These probably need washing because they just came in, but I had the beige color outside and I think we got barbecue sauce on it or something and it just washed up so easy. There was no stain. I was really excited about it. So I got, I think I got 10 of the beige because I actually got two of the cloths. I got a long one for in here and then I got a shorter one for outside. And then with the green cloths, I believe I got six of those just because Um, I doubt if I'll use them outside, so I did not get a shorter cloth. So I would have to use this kind of doubled up, which I did with the beige when I first got it. So these are the same thing, and actually, you know, they're not that bad. They are mitered. I don't know. They're pretty, pretty well made. And then... Probably last month or maybe two months ago, I also got these placemats, which are that same light khaki color. And I had got these for just anything. And um, I love just the versatility of a placemat. Like this could be under a centerpiece. It could actually be a placemat. It could be, you know, on my buffet, how I have some decorative items in the middle. I could just use this to set the candles on just for a point of interest and to put a little color underneath whatever I have there. So there's a lot you can do with these. Plus they're not very expensive. I think they came in packs of two or maybe it was, maybe it was a pack of four because I have four. Or it could have been packs of two. But I also thought they would be nice for outside when you don't want a tablecloth, such as when it's real windy and you don't want things blowing around. So those are some of the pieces that I got from H&M Home. I will continue this video hopefully tomorrow. I think I have a few more pieces coming that are strictly for outdoors. There were some really pretty blue and aqua pieces and I just thought it might be fun. Now, these can be used all year long, inside, outside, whatever. They're just good, basic, versatile colors that are hot right now. And then, of course, since it's a washable linen, it just makes it so easy to maintain at home. You know, I don't know if you're like me, but I have some real investment tablecloths that cost a pretty good penny with matching napkins, and I just don't find myself using them much other than possibly Christmas because they're dry clean only. They're, they have to be ironed, you know, I store them folded so they would be, have, have to be ironed to be put out. And then you always have that worry that something's gonna get spilled or dropped and ruin it or create a stain that won't come out. So for a, time period I was really into the tablecloths that you get like at Bed Bath & Beyond where the liquid speed up. As a matter of fact, at my husband and my wedding, um, that those are the tablecloths I used. Our colors were kind of a robin's egg blue and I just got tablecloths in that color and that worked for us and I didn't have to worry about it and that was one less concern for that night, but really I do like the natural fibers a lot more. Let me go get the cotton tablecloth. I'm into. So this is the cotton and I have not used it yet. Let's see. I was going to It is 100% cotton. It is a thicker kind of weave, but I guess because the threads are thin, it, um, it I mean, it, it's, 
you can see through it, which is not a big deal. I mean, it's not like you're showing your underwear or anything. It's just your table that you'll be showing. So I bought this one, and I think it was only $12. I could be wrong about that, but I bought, and that was not on sale. I bought this to go outside, and then part of what's due in in the next day or two with the aqua and the blue, uh, one of the things I got was a runner to go down the tablecloth that I thought would be so pretty. And then I got some aqua napkins, so I just thought that would work out, work well out in the pool area and liven it up. Like I said, the beige, beige is beautiful out there, but in summer you kind of want to have a pop of color and especially when you're out in the sun. So that is my H&M home purchases. So I will continue this video when the rest of the items come in. So I'm applying my SPF, which today I used milk. And I already had done an application, but then I put a little bit more in the spots that you're seeing. This is the new brush, new to me anyway, by Dior. It uh, is called Air Flash, Backstage Air Flash, and I am using the Dior Forever Makeup. And the directions for the brush says to distribute it around your face, starting in the center and working outward. And I really love how this brush um, with this makeup kind of really diffused or camouflaged uh, large pores and it gave, I thought, a really good skin-like finish. And I think that the Dior, Dior Forever makeup was one that was okay but hadn't really knocked my socks off but with this brush it really is a good combination and I have not tried the brush with other foundations but if it works as well as it has with the Dior foundation then it is definitely going to be at the top of my favorites list. I am assuming it will clean up nicely, but I haven't washed it yet. I've only used it probably three or four times, um, and it still looks pretty good. And I don't know if you'll be able to see due to the lighting, but it really did do a good job. And I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup life of application, which is a tiny amount of concealer. I think this is that land tone tint that I will possibly. And I am using uh, BK Beauty brushes. This is the concealer brush from the Angie um, from my Flashy collaboration. And then by Terry, the Hydra Powder with an e.l.f. brush, just to set the foundation. And I keep watching a, a video if you wonder what I keep looking over at. So I'm just tapping on uh, the powder, the loose powder, into place.
And then for my eye primer, I'm using this the Tarte primer. And for my blush, I'm using By Terry. And then I'm also going to use the um, contour on there as well. And you know, to make your face look more lifted, if you'll apply your foundation up on the top of your cheekbone instead of down below your cheekbone that will help create the illusion of a lift and then same thing with your um, contour if you will do that on the bottom of your cheekbone instead of the hollow underneath then that will help augment the lift and then to create more of a sharp jawline if you'll use your contour and then just a little bit and I think I'm using the wrong word bronzer. I don't know sometimes my mind plays tricks on me. And then for my eye makeup I'm using this new um, eye palette that I got um, from Chanel and these colors are just really easy everyday colors and again I'm using brushes from uh, BK Beauty the ones that hot and flashy was the collab so I'm taking the lattice color and putting it all over my eyelid as well as under my eyelid I always tend to find that that helps to not only set the um, concealer under my eye but then also to brighten my eye area and then the next delightest color that will be what I above my, the crease of my eye and in the crease and then down on the outer portion of my movable eyelid. And then with the smaller brush, I'm starting to use more of that taupe color, and it will be not as, I won't use it as much as the lighter color, but I will kind of go um, over some of the same spots, just not as high up the eye. And then with the darkest color, I'm just going to do the crease and on the outside of the eyelid. A movable eyelid, sorry. And I take that color up just a little bit, just to blend it. And that will help disguise the hooded eyelids. And then you just want to blend all that in. Get rid of any fallout. And then with the flat brush, I'll use 
use it to put the shimmery shadow in the middle of the movable part of my outlet. are longer so I kind of do a two curl system. I curl them close to the eyelid and then I move it up onto more of the outer edge of the eyelid and that's when I turn the little curler up so that it really gives more of a pronounced curl. My lashes are so long that they touch my glasses so I try to curl them so that my mascara doesn't get on my glasses. mentioned a few more H&M pieces that were coming in that I would want to use poolside. So I thought I would show them to you now. I already sent back the pieces that I didn't want to keep. So I don't know if I showed you, but this is the tablecloth and this is post being washed. Uh, the light beige that, that I'll use out at the pool. But this is the white cotton tablecloth. So this is 100% linen. This green one is 100% linen. And then this white is 100% cotton. And I kept two of these runners. A lot of what we have out at the pool is blue and aqua. So I thought um, these are table runners and one can be used in the middle of the table or you could put, if you just had like four people dining, you could put from one side of the table to the other side of the table. Ooh, I'll show you here. Kind of like that, except for flat with no candle in the way. And Archie is behind me. Then these are the linen napkins that I got to go with them that bring out the screen color, which I think all these colors will be so pretty out at the pool area. And then they also had these cute little aqua glasses and you could use these for water or wine or whatever you wanted to. It's just a cute little shape that I hope doesn't fall over. But I have small hands and so it fits really nicely in my hand. And this caddy was also from H&M and it'll just be really nice to carry out glasses, napkins, flatware, that sort of thing, and the handle is kind of built into it. So this was my summer entertaining haul from H&M. These items are still out there, so, or at least when I checked a couple of days ago. So now is the time to get on and get anything if you want it. I'll try to put links below or at least the name to search for and um, I really am pleased. I haven't washed any of the 100% cotton items yet, but the linen items, I am really pleased with them. I think, I mean, it's, you know, it's not a real expensive investment, but everything goes out of style at some point. Well, the beige, beige will probably not but I think these will last me for a good long time and I'll get my money's worth out of them. So that was my little bit of extra homeware that I wanted to show you. 
I'm about to have to run to town and do a few errands. So I will be back and I've been trying to clean out some of the boxes that I had from when we redid the bathroom and put items away or clear out items. So I was gonna take a load of boxes and trash to the dumpster in town and then that will be less stuff in the house. So I will catch up with you in just a minute. Well, I did not make it back to videoing, but I did want to say so long until next week. And these, as a reminder, are the great H&M finds that I found and I've listed them below for you so that you can look them up for yourself and see if anything will work. And then also listed below is the Dior brush that I absolutely adore and have continued to use and every day it just makes my makeup flawless. So see you back next week. Bye-bye.